Princess of Sussex has given birth to a boy. The baby, seventh in line to the throne, was born at 5.26 this morning, weighing seven pounds and three ounces. Prince Harry was present for the birth and said it had been the most amazing experience. Both mother and baby, he said, are doing incredibly well. This report from our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, does contain some flash photography. On the forecourt of Buckingham Palace, the orthodox way of doing things. A short written statement on a gilt easel announcing a royal birth. But the Sussexes have been at pains to do things their way. Cue a beaming father, eager to share their news. I'm very excited to announce that uh, Megan and myself had a baby boy um, early this morning. A very healthy boy. Um, mother and baby are doing incredibly well. Um, it's been the most amazing experience <laughs> I could ever um, possibly imagine. Um, how any woman does what they do is beyond comprehension, but we're both absolutely thrilled. I haven't been in many births. Um, <laughs> this is definitely my first birth. Uh, but it was amazing, absolutely incredible. And as I said, I'm so incredibly proud of my wife. Um, and as every father and parent would ever say, you know, your, your baby is absolutely amazing, but this little thing is, is, is absolutely to die for. So I'm just over the moon. It's thought the birth took place at their new home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, just as Meghan had wanted. The birth at 5.26 this morning was a few days overdue. For both of them, it's the fulfilment of their wish to start a family. Harry has seen the happiness William and Catherine have found in their young children, and he's made little secret of his wish to emulate them. But unlike his brother and sister-in-law, Harry and Meghan are free of the responsibility of producing a child in direct line to the throne. It's given them much greater latitude, planning a home birth with a medical team of their choice, so no photo call on hospital steps, instead sharing the news with the followers of their Instagram account. The manner in which this birth has been handled is a measure of, in particular, Harry's determination to control the way in which his family is presented. He and Meghan clearly recognize the level of international interest, but it is their determination to manage things as much as possible their way. Baby Sussex will be seventh in line to the throne. He won't automatically be styled His Royal Highness or designated as a prince, but such things will be of little account tonight as his parents, Harry and Meghan, marvel at the safe delivery of their son. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News. Well, as we heard there, it's thought the baby was born at the royal couple's home, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, and crowds gathered in the town to celebrate, as Helena Wilkinson now reports. It's a boy, and the bubbles are flowing in the streets around Windsor Castle. A grey afternoon here transformed into a celebration, almost a year after Harry and Meghan's wedding. The newest addition to the royal family may only be seventh in line to the throne, but try telling them that. Oh, well, we've got champagne. Carol, oh, okay. where's the champagne? Can I borrow your champagne, please? We've got champagne. We've had one bottle already. We are very happy, aren't we, Ma, here? We were actually here on the day of their wedding. We came here to celebrate, didn't we? Here we are with the really good news. Are you, are you just as excited? I am. I am. I'm hoping they name it after me. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Matthew is a very good name. <laughs> the atmosphere here in Windsor is absolutely electric. Uh, Windsor really is the place to be. If you have a mes message to give to, to the couple, what would it be? Oh, lots of love and good luck. We're getting up in the night. Not that I've got to do that. I don't have a nanny. <laughs> it's not quite as busy here today as it was during the royal wedding last year. But news has trickled through this town and all eyes are now fixed on Frogmore Cottage where the couple live. Now the baby isn't just British royalty, it's Hollywood royalty too, with huge interest from across the pond and around the world. We continue to follow breaking news from across the pond, and it's good news. A Fox News alert, it is official, it is a boy. And congratulations too for the Duchess in her former hometown of Los Angeles. I know it's a boy. I'm excited. I want to know his name. I'm looking forward to it. The whole UK is celebrating. I, I'm sure some people here in America are celebrating. The global media circus is once again fixated on the British royal family, 
and with the first official photos of the new family due on Wednesday, the excitement here in Windsor isn't likely to calm down anytime soon. Helena Wilkinson, BBC News, Windsor. And our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, is at Buckingham Palace now. Uh, Nick, in some ways, the way this royal birth was announced, something of a, a break with convention. Yes, I think that's right, Ben. It's clear that they are both absolutely committed to finding a significant role for themselves. Their future is not mapped out in the way, of course, of William and Catherine. Equally, I think it's clear that they are committed to doing it as far as possible on their terms, and that may not be uh, quite orthodox. Uh, uh, now, it was the case today that Meghan didn't want a hospital birth, she wanted a home birth, and it's thought that that's how it happened. Uh, we, we remember also, of course, that uh, they are thinking of themselves, I think, rather as global ambassadors. And there's talk of them perhaps spending time in Africa later this year, though that's not confirmed. Now, what of their son, Baby Sussex? No name for him uh, so far. The first Anglo-American birth in the British royal family. Uh, now, we... Uh, no, of course, that, uh, 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 excuse me, just let me just collect my thoughts. The first Anglo-American uh, birth in the British royal family, and it is, it is certain, of course, I'm, I'm so sorry, let me just once again uh, 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 hand back uh, to you, Ben. All right, Nick, thank you very much indeed. Nick Witchell there at Buckingham Palace.